Well, Michael, the, the rand trading around 756. Yesterday it traded as strong as 749. So it looks like it's also been impacted by those negative comments coming out of uh, Ben Bernanke, the Federal Reserve Chairman. Yeah, absolutely, Steve. And uh, of course, the rand remains uh, closely correlated to uh, risky assets, and risky assets in turn are watching closely to see the extent and, and uh, the duration of this this uh, global economic recovery. And of course, when we see some gloomy remarks coming out of the Fed, such as uh, saying that that uh, U.S. interest rates are likely going to remain on hold at low levels for a protracted period of time. Um, and that the, the outlook for the U.S. economy is somewhat uncertain. Uh, it's obviously going to bring about a little bit of risk aversion and uh, the RAND together with other risky assets are going to come in for a bit of a correction. We saw that uh, last night, we saw that in the Asian session this morning um, and uh, with Wall Street down, Asian markets down, it's no surprise that uh, RAND bulls have uh, locked in a few profits uh, ahead of today's all-important MPC meeting. Um, what do you think the market was looking for from Ben Bernanke last night? Because, of course, there wasn't a lot that he said that wasn't contained in the minutes of last month's policy statement. There was only one thing I think that really disappointed the market, and that was that some people were hoping that there would be a little bit more uh, stimulation uh, measures introduced by the Fed, possibly uh, allowing uh, excess reserves to, uh, to, to kind of have their interests capped so, so as to basically encourage some lending from uh, the banks in the states and that never materialized and even though the Fed governor did say that central banks globally stood ready to kind of act if needed uh, to, to re-get this uh, global recovery on track, uh, there wasn't anything concrete and I think that's what really disappointed the markets. I'd agree there wasn't anything dramatically different from the FOMC minutes but hopefully I think uh, participants were just hoping for a little bit more uh, stimulation kind of news. Well, perhaps onto our rate cut today. It looks like the market's starting to price in a significant possibility of a rate cut, though only five of 21 economists who have been polled by, by Reuters expect that cut. Why do you think we have this divergence? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think uh, we, if we look at uh, even the economists' sort of survey by, from Bloomberg and Reuters, we see that most of the, the non-resident economists are the ones calling for the cuts. It's mostly uh, the local guys that are saying uh, rates are probably going to remain on hold. And uh, as you say, the market is pricing in quite a strong possibility of a cut either at today's meeting or um, at the meetings in the, in the coming months, uh, po possibly more so uh, at the September meeting. Uh, we at Standard Bank believe that uh, rates will probably remain on hold uh, today and uh, I think if, if they do cut, um, I think the RAND uh, could weaken as a result. It won't do well for our interest rate differentials, uh, especially at a time when other emerging market central banks are hiking rates and especially at a time when there's a lot of uncertainty out there and people aren't really going out and putting a lot of, lot of risk. Uh, if, if it was a risk-seeking environment, then I would say that possibly an interest rate cut would be supportive of the currency because we're probably going to see strong portfolio inflows into, into our equity market. But with that not being the case, I think it will probably be a rand negative if uh, the MPC actually goes ahead with a cut.